Hey guys, I know that right now you are sitting in front of the computer looking for the perfect title pack. Well, let's look together. Specifically, let's look at 100 title packs in only 100 seconds ish. You're about to witness a montage of some of the most extraordinary, as well as some of the worst, title packs on Envato Elements, one by one. Now, I'm going to promise you three things. Promise one, the good packs are going to be so good that you're going to be amazed that they are even available to you to use as a video editor. And remember this too, all the good title packs will be marked with a green circle in the bottom right hand corner. Promise two, I'm going to show you a couple bad packs as well to contrast with the good packs. And I'm actually going to tell you why they're bad. All the bad packs will be marked with a red circle in the bottom right hand corner. Promise three, in the video description below, you'll find an exclusive link. Click it and you'll unlock access to every single incredible title pack featured here for just $9. Now, let's delve into the first golden rule. Good title packs will always break free from that ugly template look. The goal here is just to avoid titles that scream template. Instead, you gotta aim for titles that seamlessly blend into your video, exuding the craftsmanship of a professional VFX artist, and maybe even looking like an in-camera effect like this really cool Soap Suds title pack. These title packs should immerse your audience in the illusion of expertly designed real-world elements, enhancing the overall viewing experience. Moving on to the next point, title packs should avoid appearing flat against your footage. They really need to embrace depth and texture to actually stand out from the background. Depth and texture create a three-dimensional quality, making your titles feel tangible within your video. This can be achieved through various means, such as bold fonts, applying CRT style effects, introducing glitching, incorporating vibrant color gradients, or skillfully using bevel and emboss effects. Next, we're gonna take a look at a couple cinematic titles. Why though? Well, by embracing styles that have been tried and tested in the film industry, you're not only enhancing the visual appeal of your work, but you're actually connecting your work to a tradition of storytelling that literally spans decades, therefore automatically legitimizing your work in the eyes of the viewer. These titles infuse your project with cinematic gravitas, creating a powerful visual bond with your audience. Next, let's talk about fluid character movement. This can be the heartbeat of a lot of engaging titles. I specifically love title packs that incorporate smooth character by character movement as opposed to blockier and jarring word by word movement. The fluid character by character movement just gives the title a more expensive and sophisticated feel. Also on the topic of movement, I also prefer title packs that have smooth dampered movement as opposed to linear rigid movement or cheap looking elastic movement. Next, let's take a look at lower thirds. And it's really crazy because lower thirds can be a really tricky art to master. Here's the secret sauce though. Ditch those clunky shapes that often obstruct your titles and opt for thicker fonts that cut through the visual noise, ensuring that your titles shine through seamlessly. And for that extra layer of sophistication, incorporate smooth Bezier animations. These animations, akin to the graceful movements of a dancer, ensure that your titles take center stage without any abrupt distractions. Now, before we continue our title pack showcase, keep these random but important things in mind. Some titles thrive on solid backgrounds, while others find their home on top of dynamic video footage. And here's another interesting thing. When a title pack says it's for Premiere Pro, it usually means it uses Mogarts to present the titles. Try to avoid these unless you have a really powerful computer because while Mogarts can look freaking beautiful, they can take a literal eternity sometimes to render through. And here's another thing as far as title packs go. In regard to intro motions, Remember that subtlety reigns supreme. Try to choose titles that have intro motions that occupy a very small piece of real estate because intro motions that take up an entire frame are just too distracting and just take unnecessary focus away from the video. Again, avoid flashy designs and overly complex animations. Those type of packs like these rotating cylindrical title packs just end up being so complex that they're just practically unuseful. Remember this, your creative potential knows no bounds with these title packs. Let your imagination soar and make your videos truly unforgettable. 